So obviously every situation um, where you come together with boats, you have, you know, basically three options, cross, tack, or duck. Um, and it's important that you think about kind of all the tools that we just talked about, the, the course percentages, um, what shift you're in, um, how your lane is, um, and how your pressure is. So we talked a little bit about um, boats being weak and strong for a lee bow. So anytime we come into a, a crossing situation like this, um, if we're the starboard boat or the port boat, we're talking or thinking about, okay, do we have a strong, strong lee bow um, if we want to go that way? So thinking about, okay, cross tack or duck, do I want to go straight? Which, which side of the race course do I want? If I'm the port tack boat here and I want to continue straight because I know I'm close to the ley line, then I'm going to set up for, for a duck. Um, but if I'm the starboard tack boat in this, in this option, I'm thinking about the course percentage and, and a lane. Where, so I might make the, the port tack boat um, tack so that I can take their lane. Or I might think that they're, they're going to duck because they're really close to ley line. They don't want to do any more tacks. So I might have to, to actually tack before them. Um, so I think just really thinking when you come into each of these situations, which side of the course do I want? What is the course percentage? How is my lane? And where is the most amount of pressure? Um, and then for the starboard boat, this is especially important. Are they strong or weak? Um, can they put a strong lee bow in on us or are they weak to put a lee bow on us? And that'll answer your question if they're going to likely duck behind you um, or not. So I think these are just really important, simple, um, ways to think about it. And I think the course percentage is, is really important, especially like in this scenario. Um, but a couple, couple little tricks for this too, is if, if you're, um, if you're the port tack boat and you want to, to duck and let's say in this situation, like you have a, a great lane to lure. So a duck is a good option. You're obviously very near ley line. Um, you can do a, what we call a high duck. So you would actually, like keep your boat a little bit high so that when you go to duck, so you let these guys advance on you so the duck is a little bit easier. Whereas if you, if you don't do that, you put your bow down really early and it gives the, the starboard tack boat, it, it basically gives away what you're doing. So if you go high and slow, then the boat can either tack to leeward and then you can put the bow down and rip over them, or you go high and slow, let them get advanced and then go for a nice easy duck. Um, and that high duck is really, or that high, high and slow then duck is really helpful when your lane is a bit precarious to begin with. Like say you're ducking a few boats and you're on the hip of a pack, knowing and seeing it unfold earlier, you know, and, and being able to say, we're going to tack and go high and slow for a second and then go, um, and never actually cracking off and losing any distance to leeward is, is really powerful. In our boat, it takes a lot of coordination, <laughs> you know, to like slow, because you have to know how, how much to slow down and then when to re-accelerate. Yeah, you can also do it um, opposite on, on starboard. Let's say, let's say you're the starboard boat here and you're, you know, in the middle of the race course and you need to go left and, you know, there aren't really any lanes to windward of you. So you, would, you might expect that this boat might tack to leeward of you. So one thing you can do is actually just you know, a couple boat lengths out, put the bow down just a little bit so that when you come back together with them, they're forced to tack a little bit earlier and then you can put the bow up um, and have a nicer lane. Yeah, you can, you can put the bow up and have a nicer lane or you can also keep the bow down and rip over them more easily. Like you almost, someone could maybe leave out you if you were just going normal VMG and then now you crack off and uh, are you really disciplined about going into that fast low mode? As they start tacking and then you're more likely to get bow forward on them like you just think that we have to get as, as every inch forward as we can while they're still slow because if you let them complete their tack and come up and then we slow down our chances of rolling them are gone yeah um we have a question here from al hager um when you say course percentage do you mean short or long tack um and yeah essentially we we talk in in percentages like if we were the port tack boat here we're a hundred percent on port tack. Whereas, you know, if you're the starboard tack boat, you might say we're 5% on this board and nine and 95% on the other board. Um, so you can, we, we, we back it up, um, up the course. So as you, 
as you get up the course more, you can say, okay, we're 50, 50. And then you get out to the left side, you're um, 40, 60, which is the amount of time you say the amount of time you have to sail on the, on the board that you're on. And then um, the board that you would tack onto. So as you get closer to the side, you're 40, 60, 30, 70, 20, 80, 10, 90. Um, and that just helps count you into those decision points. Um, and that's a really important part of when you're thinking about this tack cross or duck. Um, another thing I wanted to mention with this um, is kind of like the, the psychology behind it and the communication when you come into a crossing situation. Um, as a starboard tag boat, you never ever want to yell no because that sounds like go. Or if you say go, it could sound like no. So you want to be really clear with your communication on this. And like if you're coming along and you want that port tag boat to to tack or or duck, you would just say starboard. And then they know that they have no option of a cross. Um, and then vice versa, if you're the port tack boat and you're like, oh maybe we have this cross, maybe we don't, then um, if, if it's a really close one, you can say cross or tack, cross or tack, and then it makes a harder decision for that starboard tack boat. When you when you put it in their mind, like, hey, I might tack and take your lane here, then they're gonna say it maybe more likely to say let you cross. Yeah, and, and you're contrasting tack or cross, tack or cross instead of can I cross? If yeah. you're asking, can I cross? Can I cross? Can I cross? Can I, can I go? Can I go? It yeah, sounds like please. no. Right. Yeah, and people are like, starboard, I'm still starboard. Um, I would, one thing I want to point out about this cross tack or duck situation that I really liked um, at a U.S. sailing team camp a few years ago, Malcolm Page asked the whole U.S. sailing team camp, several of us, a question and kind of stumped us. And he was like, okay, you're a port tack boat and you see a starboard tack boat coming. What, what are you thinking about? What are you asking yourself? And we were all like, can I cross? Are we not crossing? Can we leave out? Do we not have a leave out? You know, all these questions about where the boats would meet, what our options were. And he was like, no, none of that matters. Like that, that all, that, that all answers itself. You should be asking yourself and your skipper, like, where do we want to go? Are we trying to carry on? Okay. Then we're obviously ducking. Are we trying to protect the left? Then it's going to be a leave out. You know, are we, um, you know, just think about, it. are you look waiting for more pressure? Then we're going to like try to cross and then tack later. But, um, Oftentimes you get, you kind of stutter on this tack, can we, can we tack, can we not cross, can we, and then you end up hesitating too long and then attacking late or ducking late and you lose a lot. Whereas yeah. if you know that you want to carry on, then you can execute the high duck or a low and fast duck or a good leave out. Or if you don't have a leave out, you tack early. Um, no least turning, no least turning. <laughs> no least turning. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there, so.